today I'm going to be reviewing the Snoozer Hero MD Baby Breathing Monitor. So this is um, a purchase that was recommended to me by another expectant mum who's got an older child. Similar to the Angel Care monitors that have a mat that goes under the mattress to keep track that the baby is breathing and is okay. Um, this actually clips onto the nappy. Uh, so it just clips onto the front of the nappy. It's got a super soft flexible tip on it. Um, so it you know it doesn't bother the baby at all, it doesn't leave a mark, um, but it keeps track that the baby's breathing, it has a little light, a little green light that flashes with every breath. Um, it also has an optional setting for it to make a beep every time the baby breathes. I don't know why you'd want that because I can't sleep in a room with a ticking clock in it. Never mind a little beep every time the baby takes breath. However, if that would reassure you, then it's got it and it's also got it in three volumes. Or you can have it silent like I do. So what it does is, like I say, it keeps track that there's a breath every 15 seconds. If 15 seconds go by with no breath and no movement, um, a, a, a smaller beep sounds and it also vibrates to try and shock the baby into taking a breath, which I think is a really great feature because you know with a mat just under the mattress it's not actually doing anything to try and help the situation whereas this you know encourages the baby to breathe by you know that shock obviously it wouldn't work in all situations but I think it's a it's a really good feature um, then if the baby doesn't um, doesn't start breathing an alarm sounds so you know that you've got to get up get out of bed and get over there quick we've had one false alarm with it and that was the other night Theo's recently been diagnosed with reflux um, and he was really, really upset during the night, practically inconsolable and he, I was trying to change his nappy while he was screaming and to be honest I think it was my fault because I don't think I put the nappy on tight enough, as tight as I normally would, so I think it was a little bit loose and then he had rolled onto his side in the car so I think it probably pushed away from his tummy and so the alarm went off while we were asleep. I've never been so frightened in my life, I felt sick. Um, he was fine, he was breathing, everything was okay, um, but just, just imagine if he wasn't and he didn't have a monitor on and you just wouldn't know, he'd be fast asleep and you'd have no idea. I think, you know, for that alone, it's absolutely worthwhile. It's currently 71 on Amazon with an RRP of 79 I would pay that over and over again for it, that's how much I rate it, that's how good I think it is. Um, you know, when you're expecting a new baby, you buy a lot of rubbish. A lot of things that you never end up using or you use once, you know, that are just a massive waste of money. This isn't. This is one of my top five things that I absolutely need. And I would, you know, I would include the, you know, top five things includes the cot basics. I need this because I worry, I freak out, and it's given me just a little bit of extra reassurance that he's okay. I still, you know, in the early days, I still woke up every half an hour to check on him. Even now, um, I still wake up to make sure that he's okay. Not the last few nights, because I haven't had any sleep, but <laughs> when I do have sleep, it's not all the way through because I like to check on him. But one of the great things is about it is that because it's got the light on, you can see it through his vest or baby grow. If he's got a lot of layers on, you can't. So you can just check that the light's flashing. You don't have to touch him or wake him up or any of that, you can just check the light is flashing, go back to sleep. Really great. Uh, the one downside to it is that it's a little bit fiddly to fit, particularly at first when you're getting used to it, you've been very delicate with the baby, you have just find your feet, you know, fitting a plastic clip onto the nappy is quite tricky without pressing the buttons, but within a few days you've cracked it, you're used to it and you whip it on and off, no problem. And that's probably the only downside that I can find. It has a lithium battery, which is great because it means it doesn't need charging and there are no wires. This, the one, the unit here is all that you need. Um, we've had ours for four and a half months and we've used it every night and it's still going strong, but there is just a little hatch on the back. You can just pop it off and pop a new battery in, so dead easy. What we'll do now is I will show you how it goes onto the nappy 
how you set it up and turn it on, how you turn it off. Um, and I'll also show you a demonstration of the noise it makes when it makes its alarms. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to turn the monitor on. It has to be on a hard, flat surface. So you just press this button on the side here. It does a self-test. And it's ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll just leave it there for a few seconds and then you can see how the alarm sounds. So the, usually the light on the lungs would flash to detect movement. Okay, so to turn the unit off, press on both sides, and then it's finished. So that's the alarm it makes. It continues to vibrate even when it's making the really strong alarm. What I'll show you now is how you attach it to the baby's nappy. Okay, I'll just show you now how to attach it onto the nappy. Um, so you switch it on, which I've already done. You fold the top of the nappy down. You just pull the clip back and then slide it over the top of the nappy and then it just rests gently against the tummy. You can see that the green light's flashing as the baby moves. Also, I'll show you that beeping noise for the breath. So you press the mode button on the other side and it starts ticking. And you can press that three times for volume and then again just to turn the noise off. So, excusing little fingers, which aren't supposed to be touching it. I like to turn it off and put these leggies down. I like to turn it off, just press the buttons on both sides, slide off the nappy and put to one side. And that's it.